there's a view of the PDP 1105 and you can see the lights are blinking furiously on the computer and the reason is that I was successfully able to load basic from paper tape today so I thought I'd show you what that looks like not the loading part just the after the loading part here is the view of the teletype and what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a uh, first I'm going to um, list the uh, program that I have loaded in the memory all right here we go Just a little basic program that I put in there from the manual. Okay, now I'm going to run the program. Here's a view of the lights while that basic program is running. You can see that it's uh, blinking lights. Classic. And the program's still running in the background. You can hear it. And... Uh, See, there's a serial connection I have up on a riser, so I could uh, check the baud rate on that pin right there and make sure it was at 110 baud um, using this controller right there to make adjustments. You can see it's spinning away at this very complicated program, something that you could easily do on a calculator. Um, much faster than the PDP-1105 would be able to do, but you would have to write a program, and uh, if you were going to do it by hand, you might be racing the computer. Not many people by hand, at least, could do this mathematics that quickly, if you want to put it in perspective. You can see that the typewriter's doing a pretty good job. It's a, it's, I went through pretty much the entire teletype and Fixed all kinds of little things that were wrong with it, replaced print heads and you know, all of that. It, it's really, it took about three or four years to get to this point. So, I hope you enjoy this. I'll just let it run for another minute and then I'll cut off. And there you go. Alright, here's one last little thing I'd like to show everybody. We've got the computer completely off. I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to recall basic that is stored in memory. First, I'm going to turn the computer on. Okay. And then I'm going to turn the teletype on. You see? And then I have the switch registers set to all zeros. I'm going to load that address in the memory. And then I'm going to enable the computer. And then I'm going to push start. And we look over at the computer. And you can see we have a ready prompt. Which means that I don't have to load it from paper tape every time I want to use BASIC on my PDP-1105. The great thing about core memory. And here's a view of the core memory. Uh, you can't really see it, but trust me, it's there try to kind of get in there a little bit. It's the, um, I believe it's the H214. Here's the, here are the cards that are installed in the system. And uh, really, this is a stock computer. I mean, this is as stock as you can get. And that was the whole plan of this exercise, was just to, just to build a system based on the chassis manual. What I did was I just took this manual and just walked through it until I got to the very end, all the power supply stuff, and got all that attached, DC regulator, and then finally got to the, uh, the wiring of the teletype, and, and, uh, and what terminal strip connections there should be, and all of that. Now let's see what happens if I type list. Okay, so there's no program in memory anymore, but at least I was able to load BASIC. So BASIC is in core memory. Alright, that's it. Now I'm really signing off.